Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show where we talk about helmets and visors and chin straps and all the stuff that goes on the helmets. And today we're doing another build. This is for an undefeated team. Big shout out to Keith who sent us this entire decal set. I have a niece that went to Winthrop. Winthrop is right up the, the, the street from us in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And come to find out, Steve, they're undefeated because they don't have a football team and they never have. So <laughs> you can't lose if you don't play. Keep that in mind right there. So, but they have they have a contingent apparently of people who have been trying to get together a football program for Winthrop for years now. And so if you go to the bookstore on the Winthrop campus, you'll see shirts everywhere that says Winthrop football on the front, still undefeated on the back, which is really kind of just the, their little, it's not really a pun. Kind of like if you, if you don't laugh, you'll cry kind of thing. Yeah. Keith has put together a couple of two different football helmets uh, in Winthrop colors. They look fantastic. He sent us a decal set, so he probably had these made. And then he sent a, a set down to us to see what we would come up with. So we're doing something completely different. At first we were like, okay, we're gonna make a replica helmet and it's gonna be as close as we can get to what he's already done or what the team wears. But since there is no team, we can do whatever we want. So we're gonna go pretty far outside the box on this one. We are, we are using a solid white helmet. This is gonna be a Riddell Speed helmet. This is a Youth Victor helmet. We've got these for sale at greengridiron.com. Steve, should I mention the July 4th sale? Yeah, go for it. We have prices on some items that are popular items that have never been as low as they are now. I don't want to sound like Crazy Eddie. So if you want to get it, get it now. Don't be that guy that waits till August 20th. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be putting on a Green Bay Gold uh, Speed Face Mask. This is the S2EG SWSP. And what you see here is in this visor, Steve, this is a rejected visor. It's a Shock 1.0. I would call this kind of like a copper. What do you think, Steve? Bronze? Bronze, I like it. But it was originally supposed to be a tiger's blood and it didn't have enough blood in it or enough tiger, one of the two. <laughs> Jay, you called it dry tiger's yeah, blood. <laughs> kind of dry tiger's blood, but I think it looks pretty cool and I think it's gonna look cool on this helmet. We actually have a couple of dozen of these. So Keith sent us both some maroon and yellow stripes in a half inch and a quarter inch. And so we're going back and forth of what kind of combination we want to do with those. So we're going to do an off-centered. And we're only going to be using the garnet and the yellow. So I'm using, there's a line that goes down the center of the helmet, and I'm using it as a guide to put this stripe. And on the back, I removed the warning label since we know that this helmet will not be for sale. And you just take a heat gun to it, and then once you get the adhesive off, just hit it with the citrus spray, and we're putting on one of the warning labels that Keith sent in, right, Jay? Say, why cut it, Steve? Well, it's gonna make it line up a little better. So this is a this is a Victor Youth Speed helmet, and they don't come with the rear bumpers. So we're gonna be putting the decal directly on the helmet shell. So I'm gonna cut this right here. Otherwise, when we have the bumper, usually what I'll do is I'll just tuck it, tuck it underneath, and everything's all good to go. But here, it's gonna stop right here. These Victor helmets are the way to go for people that are looking to customize their own helmets too because they're so affordable and because it doesn't have the rear bumper. I think it, I think it's an advantage. I think so too. Way easier to work with. Um, cleaner application because you don't have that raised Riddell that you have to put the decal on top of. Yeah, these so, are cool. So going back to Keith a little bit, he has been a long time customer, a very patient man because he gets some custom things from us that take some time to chrome and do some other things. And he's a serviceman. He's working for our country and he's over in Guam. So we cannot thank you enough for your business and for your service. Let's go ahead and put the decals on next. How about that? Sure. So it's the Winter Eagles coming out of Rock Hill and the shadows of Death Valley and Clemson. And you know, the nice thing about something like this is there's not really anything we can do wrong. 
Because again, they never even played. They've never even played. I mean, what wrong could there be? This is the first for us. We appreciate when people send in stuff to do custom builds, but we've never done a team that hasn't existed. Yeah, and Keith, you didn't really send us much information. Oh yeah. <laughs> about this either. He sent us nothing and he actually sent me a gift, which was very, very nice. So I appreciate that. And Jay, he sent a couple of other things, which we will get into in future builds. If you're watching this for the first time, thanks for watching and welcome. We build helmets and we talk about all the things that go on football helmets. And we have a website called greengridiron.com where we sell almost everything we shoot. And we like to entertain and educate and do builds and all that good stuff. So if you want to see your school or your team and you have a decal set, send it our way. Let's now go on to the back of the helmet. So on the back of the helmet here, we've got a lot going on. So we've got an embossed tech flag we're going to use. We've got a South Carolina chrome flag. Let's start with this little decal and the bumper. Sorry, this little warning decal. It's going to go down kind of in the corner here. And I like it. It's like a mini warning decal, right? Yeah, I love that because it, nobody likes warning labels. We've seen a couple of teams start to do it. We'll see more this year when uh, Louisiana Lafayette put their warning label in the shape of Louisiana. Very cool. We got a little Division One FCS, so... I say, Keith has high hopes. I say go over the initial season sticker. Right here. Boom. Sure. Yeah, it does have high hopes. <laughs> You're going straight to D1. Cool. So you can kind of see over there where Keith put his. We're moving ours around a little bit. Yeah, I like what he did with the striping sure. off to the sides. It definitely complicates things, so that, that took effort. And I don't want to throw off the symmetry, so I'm going to kind of act like there's a stripe there even though there's not. Right. What do you think about that, Steve? South Carolina chrome state flag. And Steve, we've got Built by Green Gridiron. Of course. What are you thinking? Over here? Yeah, make it equal with the warning label. Exactly. All right, so we are making a lot of progress. Now we are using an unbranded shut elite chin strap. What do you think about chin strap decals? Love them. Same here. Because you don't see them. It's like seeing white lettered tires on cars. Like you don't see them often, so they always stand out. You got more and more teams doing them, and some of the big big boys, they'll have it, you know, their names printed on there. And I think that that's a great look too. Some use decals, some use pad printing. I just think that this is wildly creative on Keith's part to want to represent and show so much love to a team that never even made it. I, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing he has to have a connection with Winthrop. I, I guess he went there. I wish he told us a touch more because we'd love to share that, but we just, we just don't know. I love when helmets have a lot going on in the mm -hmm. back. And we've converted these. We've upgraded to the Sports Star buckles. They make these little decals that go on the front bumper here just barely big enough to cover the Riddell mark. Yeah, what is that? Just make it a half inch bigger. I know, I know. Right? I think it's so you can put them on without having to take the face mask off. Come on, though. How hard is it to remove two screws? Dude, the thing is awesome. Great color combo. I like the off-center stripes and that visor. It looks like it was made for this build. 
Awesome. Can you, can you put that on your head? Yeah, maybe. Ugh. It's a youth, so it's a little tight on me. But yeah, hey. there we go. Excellent, excellent work too. How's that off-center stripe looking on the head? It's a, it's a go. I love it. So what we've got here, Steve, again, we've got the Riddell Speed Victor Youth Helmet and S2EG SWSP face mask in Green Bay Gold. We've got off-center stripe. We've got the Winthrop Eagles decals. We've got a bunch of decals on the back with numbers and all that stuff. Embossed tag flag on the front. We've got the copper, the bronze. Which was which does it look like more from your angle? It definitely has way more of an RNG feel to it now. RNG? So copper. Right. I'm going to go copper. Yeah. Copper Shock 1.0 visor and unbranded Under Armour clips. And we've got them, Steve, pointed up. Why? Because we don't like the gap as much here. Sometimes we have them going down, but then you get a big gap right at the top of the face mask. So. I kind of like them pointed up. You see NFL and college guys both do that, depending on the style of face mask they have. Yeah, good good work, dude. I love this. And thank you again, Keith. Um, Jay, this guy is a serviceman. Steve, Steve, we talked about this a little bit. We wanted to see kind of where <laughs> we felt with this helmet before we made a final decision. But yes, Keith, we are going to send this helmet to you as a big thank you for sending us the decals and all of the business you've sent our way and serving our country. We really appreciate it and everything that you do. Uh, and hopefully you send us some pics next to your other Winthrop Eagles helmets on your shelf or maybe on your helmet hanger. That's right. This is our gift to you. Thank you so much for everything you do. And thanks everybody for watching. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Thanks again. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.